So why do codependent people struggle so much with low self-esteem? That's what I'm gonna be talking about in this week's video. And if you're new, my name is Michelle Ferris. I'm a psychotherapist and I love helping people create relationships that work. So let's define self-esteem because to me, I wanna make it really simple. It's basically the ability to love yourself and accept yourself warts and all. It's about accepting that you are an imperfect person and the goal is never to be perfect, but it's to really like yourself enough to say, you know what, I'm a good person. I'm not better than or less than you. I am enough. That's the goal. And I think there's a lot of confusing messages when we're codependent around self-esteem and I'm gonna clear up some of those for you. So the first reason we end up struggling with self-esteem is because we typically don't get the time and the attention and the encouragement we needed growing up. Because typically our parents either didn't have the skills to parent us effectively, which let's face it, most of us didn't learn them either if we're parents ourselves, or they had so much on their plate for their own emotions or their own life that they really didn't have it to give. So we end up learning how to fend for ourselves emotionally, which can be really hard. But what happens is when we don't get that time and attention that kids really need in order to grow up and grow their personality and their self-image, self-esteem suffers. They don't know who they are and they don't have a strong sense of themselves in the world. And that can be a really hard place to start life. Number two, you grow up focusing on taking care of others and in the process you neglect yourself. And when you do that, of course your self-esteem is gonna suffer as well because you're not gonna know what's important to you. You're not gonna know what you need and want. You're not gonna look at life through the lens of what is it that I wanna create and the life I want. You're gonna be looking at it through the lens of caretaking and what can I do for you so that I can matter. I can't tell you how many times I did that in my life until I finally got into recovery and realized I can't live my life for that approval. It's too painful. So that's part of what happens when we focus too much on other people is that we lose ourselves. And of course, we're not gonna know who we are enough to have a healthy sense of self. Number three, codependent people often confuse a healthy sense of self or self-esteem with being arrogant or self-centered. Okay, and that happens because we grow up not getting our needs met on a regular basis. So some of us have even been told as kids, don't think of yourself, don't be selfish. That's wrong to have needs, take care of your siblings. So part of what happens is we learn as kids to negate our needs and that tells us that we're not worthy. So when you think of yourself or wanna say no to someone or even want to do something nice for yourself, the thought comes in, oh, that's selfish. I can't think of myself. So we don't understand that a healthy sense of self is being good enough, not being better than. But when we grow up in dysfunctional families, a lot of times we get that message that to think of ourselves means that we're conceited. And that's really not the case. Because think about it, everybody has wants and needs and it's really not fair to not allow yourself to have them. But that's part of the work we have to do in codependency recovery is to realize that we actually do deserve to have our own wants, our own preferences, our own feelings that may differ from everybody else. Number four, to develop a healthy sense of self, you need a lot of positive encouragement. And a lot of times codependent people don't have that. They don't have that positive praise and encouragement that they're doing well. And part of what is super important with healthy self-esteem is to get that positive reinforcement about who you are, not just what you're doing. Because when we only get praised for what we do, then we think the only way we're gonna get love is by doing and by giving. And when we're tired, when we wanna say no, we feel like we can't because all of our self-esteem and our self-worth is wrapped up in doing rather than being who you are. And that's what really robs us of self-esteem. Plus, we get 
praised for doing favors and being the star volunteers. So to give that up is really disconcerting to most codependent people because we realize we've put all of our emotional eggs into doing for other people. And when we start to remove that, we start to realize, wow, I need to find other ways to matter, not just to other people, but to ourselves. Because healthy self-esteem is really about looking inward for that, not always outward. Number five, Codependent people are constantly comparing themselves to others. We compare our weaknesses to their strengths. And of course, that's a losing battle. Uh, whenever I find myself comparing myself to other colleagues who are doing this online work, I have to remind myself, you know what? I have to stay in my lane because we can always find someone prettier, smarter, more engaging than ourselves. But that's not the point. The point is what are your unique talents and unique gifts that nobody else has? That's what we wanna develop when we're talking about healthy self-esteem is who are you uniquely in the world? Because I guarantee you there's nobody else like you and that's what we need to focus on. And number six is when we're codependent, we don't trust ourselves. We don't trust our thoughts, our feelings, and our perceptions. So it's really hard to have a healthy sense of self when, we, you, don't, when you don't trust your own experience. And that usually starts as kids when maybe we're crying and our parents say, stop crying, you have nothing to cry about. So we learn that it's not okay to have feelings or it's not okay to be sad or it's not okay to be angry because it's not ladylike. What we need to do in self-esteem work is to own all of who we are, and that includes feelings. That includes our own unique wants and desires that may be a little quirky at times. That's okay, that's part of what makes us unique. And part of the road to healthy self-esteem is to learn how to develop that trust in yourself so that when you have a perception or when you have a gut feeling about something, you can trust it because the people who trust their intuition are more successful. When you can trust yourself and be able to develop that intuition, that sixth sense that tells you when something doesn't feel right and trust that and use that to guide your decisions in life, that contributes to healthy self-esteem because you learn you can rely on yourself, not always ask 10 other people what they think you should do. It's more about what do I need to do? And then if I need feedback, yes, I can go out into the world and ask for feedback, but that's not my only measure of how I make a decision anymore. Because I once I learned to trust myself in my codependency recovery, that made all the difference. The next step for you is I want you to get my journal prompts for codependency and self-care because part of doing this work is to let yourself be who you are. And part of that is self-care and starting to set boundaries because those two things are usually where the codependent gets stuck. And that's why I created this free guide for you. So I'm gonna link it to the description of this post and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.